All right, what is going on, YouTube? We're heading in for round one of the Modern Challenge with some Blood Braid Elf Shadow. Nothing super new about the deck. I've been kind of beating a dead horse with this thing. I just think this deck's. I think this deck is really. I was broke ten days ago on Moto, and like started playing this deck, and we are no longer broke. So I'm just a huge fan of this deck right now. Elves not Doc. I I figured it out. I figured it out there. Visc Viscorus. Visc Visc. I'm not sure. I can't. I can't read or write or speak this morning in a minute and a half. I'll probably do a little bit less chit-chatting, be a little more social in between rounds when I'm just shooting the shit. One of my brother, one of my buddies, Johnny, is playing in a PTQ today. He's playing uh, the blue-black mid-range deck, the Yu-Gi-Oh! players. Vish. Us. There's an X there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I can't read. I can't read. This morning, for the first couple rounds, I will not only be playing against my opponent, I will be playing against my hangover, as went out last night. Watched Who watched, who watched the number 16 seed beat a 1 seed last night? First time ever. I was at a, I was at a uh, cigar bar and saw that happen last night. That was awesome. Uh, wish you had a birthday. Right, shoot you on Facebook. Talk about some yeah, dude, that's totally fine. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube comments, anywhere. All right, it's go time, motherfuckers. What do we got? We only got 100. Oh, 121. Okay, so this did go up. Hit him up on MySpace. All right, lost the die roll. Already messed up once this game. God, my opponent's so lucky. Ah, uh, heater. Kind of. We find a bobble. This is an absolute heater. We find a bobble or like a lightning bolt. Aces. This hand is particularly a little bit weak to Birds of Paradise on one. So hopefully we don't hit a Birds of Paradise. Right, Philly? No Birds of Paradise. You're dead. You're dead. Bird's not the word. Oh, what do we got? A ley line here? Nice. What a way to start the day. Show me the ley line. Get a little slippery, slippery action here. Opening, opening hand, ley line of sanctity. Looks like they have Bogle on the play. This is going to be a tough one. Now I got to figure out how to get Delirium. So I believe I will be thought seizing myself on this turn. Tilt. Um. Okay, so that's going to let me get the Death Shadow. So let's go get Blood Crypt Cycle. Okay. So I need to like rip a fetch land like a professional here. We're gonna take a traverse because we might need to do some more damage to ourselves. But at least next turn I can thought seize my. Oh, actually, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. See. All right. You can go bulger yourself, dude. I hope my top two draw steps are abrupt decay. All right, there's three. This guy's this guy's doing the work for me. Don't have another land. I in game one I can't beat Leyline of Sanctity plus functional hand without counter spells. Okay, all right, it is on like Donkey Kong. Opponent is pumping the brakes. <sighs> no 
Okay. We're going to take this shot because we'll kill him. All right. Is he going to try to like Griff Spoon one shot me here? I'm going to hold this forest, I think. Well, no, because I need to draw another land for a Bloodbraid Elf, anyways. Not attacking. He could just one shot me here. Like, he could find a Griff Spoon and then kill me. Like, if this is a Daybreak Coronet, this is going to be, this is going to get pretty tough. We'll just chump. What sucks is I have to chump. It's a day. Oh, it's a Core Spirit Dancer. Okay, we can beat that. All right, let's do some thinking. Five, seven, first strike, nope. Yeah, this is this is gonna get out of hand here in a second. We have two main deck of Rupt Decays. Okay. This could get interesting. Yeah, they're just gonna hold they're just gonna one shot me. Alright, you got it. With the old path to exile. Alright, that's not bad. And pass again. We're in like chump block territory with this Tarmogoyf more than likely. My opponent is playing in such a way where they... Oh, that's probably game. 16. All right. I think my opponent should be being a little bit more. I mean, I guess like they could just sit there. But if I find an abrupt decay, then we're in good shape. Okay, that'll do. That'll do, pig. All right. Okay, so we're taking out the grindy packages here. These brutalities. These seven are coming out. I like the pulse. I like the angers because sometimes they keep like leyline hands that are not functional, but they just have a leyline. Like the battle rage, we're gonna cut a forest, and then I gotta make room for these stubs. So gonna cut one more card. It looks like, and I'll just cut a fatal push. I could cut a blood crypt and keep the forest in because they're a path to exile deck. But I think I would rather just not draw two basics than deal with that. Yeah, I think this is what we're going to do here. Slippery, slippery. And like I was saying, we like this Death Shadow deck with the way that it's built here, it can't be it can't be the ley line on zero with a functional hand in game one because you don't have battle rages and you don't have stubborn denials but now we have three answers to um onboard enchantments stubborn denials to fight that to interact on the stack we've got one fatal push and two lightning bolts for dryad arbors and core spirit dancers so we should we got enough removal i like the configuration here after sideboard though i think we're going to be able to make a game of it
Did I hit submit here? Is my opponent just tanking? Bogle man. Bogle, bogle, bogle. I would like to lead off. This is literally everything we want. The reason why it's everything I want is because there's no lands. All right. We're going to give it a keep. We're going to give it the old college try. Thoughts he's on one. If my opponent doesn't have a ley line, then we're going to, I think we're going to win this game. If they have a ley line, we're not probably not gonna win this game. They're keeping on seven. Now there's no scenario where I want this because they either have a ley line or I'm fetching on turn one. So Alright, there we go. We got we got a plan. Is this gonna get overgrown tomb? So you're saying there's a chance. Actually, I'm gonna get Watery Grave. Excuse me. Bobble our opponent. Spirit Mantle. All right. Spirit Mantle is a tough one to beat, but I don't think it's worth throwing myself off curve. Temple, Temple. So this is right here is probably like Dryad Arbor incoming. We're just taking it, it's an easy bogle. Okay. Fetch line off the top would be sick. No, it was not a fetch land. I would not be surprised if we see a dryad arbor right here. Show me the dry arbor. Nope. Okay. Is there drawing another Umbra? I'm gonna get Death Shadow down next turn. Just so that I can start to present a clock. There we go. Great. I'd much rather play Shadow than play a naked Liliana that's just ticking up that easily could die to a Daybreak Coronet. I think we're in good shape this game. We have two counter spells, our best card. Okay, so they drew that. Would like a way to grow this shadow just to make sure we got ferocious online. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so they still have the temple guard in their hand, yeah. There's a slippery guy. He's an arbor on top, okay. All right, I'm gonna stub this, because if he pays for it, we'll just edict this. And then he'll probably shuffle away his arbor. Okay, nope, he just lets it go. It's a good play. I need like, okay, there's a Traverse. That's another Death Shadow. There's a Tarn Life. Okay, so I got the next spell cover that's relevant, which will probably be this, I'll probably gonna let this ethereal, ethereal Armor go and look to counter 
one of these. Probably, I don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be a tough race. What's my opponent gonna do next turn? They're probably gonna go like ethereal armor. I really don't want to let this spirit mantle resolve. I think we can beat through this spirit mantle. I could have traversed for a fetch land there, which was probably right to do. Yeah, we'll do that next turn. Put my opponent in a position where they have to block next turn. Okay, so they're fetching away the dry arbor. Which is good for us. We're gonna counter. We're gonna counter the second enchantment, basically. If it's a spirit mantle or a daybreak coronet, is what we're gonna counter. We're gonna let the ethereal armor go because we can answer that. Path to exile. Okay, so we can actually stub this because we know four out of five cards they have. So now they get the spirit mantle down. All right. Oh, they drew a fetch land. Oh, that should just do it, right? That fetch land was a good draw. First round there, Fromberg. Yeah, so now I just go get a fetch land and attack with both. And they are dead. I'll just. Because I know their hand. I can't even misclick the team or battle rage. Which is sweet. Yeah, because we know all the cards they have left. There's just so many decks that just can't beat this card. This card's like either like one of your best cards in your deck or the absolute worst one. There's no in between. Excuse me. Okay. I think we're going to keep it the same. There's not really like play draw considerations. In this matchup, whatever's good is good. Man, K Command doesn't really do anything. I can't even target them with a discard. The only thing K Command does is allow me to be explosive, but because I can go like shock myself, return Street Wraith, but I think that's too slow. Yeah, we're gonna keep this one. Really hope we street race into a threat. Opponent mulligans. No ley line, okay. So our discard spells are live. All right, there's a bogle. All right, gas. We're gonna need a little bit. If we get Delirium, this hand's very good. I think I'm just gonna stub, be pretty aggressive with my stubborn denials here. Yeah. And we're just using this now while we can, because, you know, without a threat, these stubs will will go bad. Okay, canopy. Is it ethereal armor? Oh, it's a rancor. Ethereal armor. All right, we're under. We're under. Oh, spirit link. Okay. This card's kind of small ball right now. Okay, they're just holding up. Which means their hand's likely not very aggressive. There's our boy. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna go get Overgrown Tomb, forego the Lightning Bolt for now. 
get the shadow in play. If my opponent lands a Daybreak Cornet, I'll just take a shot and then kill the Spirit Link. Yeah, Spirit Link seems kind of like small ball. If my opponent passes me, I get to Maelstrom Pulse something also. Yeah, we're going to let this go. This The Maelstrom Pulse will at least turn on Delirium. Which means I'm probably Maelstrom Pulsing guaranteed anything next turn. Oh, my opponent's got like just a really slow hand. Well, now you've got to attack. Okay. All right. All right, yeah, that's good. So we're just going to pulse to use our mana and to get Delirium. Like, it is kind of mopey to pulse this, but it's kind of what we got to do. Yeah. They have a canopy, so, like, they are going to get a draw. The next turn we play Shadow, and then we've got Decay and Stubborn Denial up. I'm feeling pretty good about our spot currently. They're, they're, oh, okay, we're doing a land. Hyena Umbra, okay. Now it's like, what are you doing, you know, like, I don't know, opponent's in a tough spot. They probably draw a ley line. I hope so. That's what those filthy. Okay, so now we got a little bit of aggression coming on. I'm not going to cycle this until I find a red source where I can just, like, kill a Dryad Arbor if I need to. If I were them, yeah, they'd come in hot with a Dryad Arbor. Griffin. Okay, we're gonna let this resolve, and then I'm gonna decay it and eat it in combat. And then I basically trade my Decay for Griff Spoon and Spider Umbra. It is going to be kind of annoying how this keeps coming back, though. Nice thing is we're no longer under risk of being hit by like a, a surprise Dryad Arbor. Okay, so what am I doing? I'm just attacking now. This Griff Spoon could make things awkward if my opponent hits a land. Honestly, the best draw for us would be like just an enchant, something we can stub. That's what we're looking for. That gets some. That's a great. That gets some farther off the Griff Spoon. Okay. Holding the Street Wraith. That's gas. Let me tell you about my one mana 8-8. Eight eight and how my one mana 8-8 eight eight is gas. So now we've got like a core spirit dancer covered. We basically got we even they don't they need to cast I don't know, they need to like give one of their creature evasion. There we go. Round one in the books. Get out of my face, you slippery piece of garbage.